Some slides from Thursday's Women's History Month observation. We'll have more from the ceremony in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also on this edition, news from TRICARE, some sports notes from MWR, and March Madness is underway. But first, Fort B took time out on Thursday for this year's Women's History Month observation. This year's keynote speaker was Dr. Christine Altendorf, the Director of the Sexual Harassment and Assault Response and Prevention, or SHARP, office for the Army. Altendorf has spent almost her entire federal career in the Army Corps of Engineers. She spoke about why she thought she might have been selected for the SHARP post. Is they brought somebody in from the outside. They brought somebody that could question how we've always done it. Um, you know, we've had a lot of discussions, and, and one of the things I think you all are probably aware of, the big, the big discussion, is taking disposition away from the commanders for sexual assault cases. There's been battles and battles on Capitol Hill. Gillibrand's bill did not recently pass, but she will, not, she will continue the fight. A highlight of the event was an introduction of local Gold Star Mothers. Gold Star Mothers are mothers of fallen service members. They've been calling themselves Gold Star Mothers since the First World War. The U.S. began observing Gold Star Mothers Day in September of 1936. In other news, starting April 1st, TRICARE service centers will no longer provide walk-in service. Instead, all of their functions are migrating to www.tricare.mil. There you can enroll or purchase a plan, file or check claims, find a doctor, and much, much more. Once again, TRICARE walk-in centers across the country will be closing effective April 1st. As most of you know, TRICARE is the Department of Defense's military health care system. Here's more from TRICARE TV. I'm Ann Murray. Today, We'll give new TRICARE beneficiaries an overview of what TRICARE is and what it means to them. TRICARE is the health care program serving active duty and retired service members and their families worldwide. TRICARE uses military health care as its main delivery system, supported by a civilian network of providers and facilities. Many of our 9.6 million beneficiaries can receive cutting-edge health care at 56 military hospitals, 361 medical clinics, and 249 dental clinics staffed by 137,000 military health care professionals. For care outside military hospitals and clinics, TRICARE maintains a network of more than 216,000 network providers, with another 199,000 non-network providers accepting TRICARE. And our beneficiaries keep all those doctors and nurses busy. In a typical week, 20,000 TRICARE beneficiaries are admitted as inpatients. Our beneficiaries also have 1.9 million outpatient visits, make 122,000 visits to the dentist, and pick up 2.6 million prescriptions every week. And we welcome 2,372 babies to our TRICARE family every week. We also process 4.6 million claims. Care is provided through four regional contractors, providing local contact and benefit information. The four regions, North, South, West, and Overseas, can respond individually to local provider availability and natural disasters. But all follow the same TRICARE policies. In other health news, Gaffney Fitness Center started offering personal training sessions in January. Chad Jones, star of our HCI series, spoke recently with the personal training program manager. We have programs to reach different fitness goals, whatever you're looking for. If you're more of the, on the beginning side, not too familiar with the gym, they can help you kind of set up you know, basic workouts and help you reach initial goals to get you comfortable enough to come in to work out by yourself. Okay. Or even the more, those with the more experience in the gym, just kind of fine tune workouts, give some variety. We'll have more on the program in next week's edition of the HCI. Stay tuned. In the meantime, in a related store, MWR is offering swimming lessons for youth in April. You need to sign up by March 31st. Classes are held Wednesday and Friday evenings. Saturday morning sessions are also available. For more information, you can call 301-677-7916. And that's all the time we have for today. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead week.